he decided to not only respond to Adam 22, but he decided to respond to Tyrese. We covered that, I think, two streams ago. We covered Tyrese going off on Joe Button for calling him bitter after seeing him on The Breakfast Club. Now, does that have anything to do with somebody that, you know, Joe Button says in this clip he sees as a friend? So, you know, I'm going to stop talking with the soliloquies. We're, we're just going to go straight to that clip. We're going to go straight to the clip of um i like to be faster don't worry about all that <laughs> of joe talking about tyrese let's see let's see where is it where is it? there it goes there it goes okay cool now one word now one one word <laughs> yeah right i'm telling you now one word if you wrote it, I, I read protect it. my space. If I see someone that I love, I'm liable to get clipped, so I can't. I can't play the clip. Things, and in the caption it says, "Someone Joe Budden loves is about to say hurtful things about him." I don't read it. Joe, you're fucking lying. I dog, swear to God, I did not man. hear what Tyrese had to say about Joe Budden. Y'all understand anything that come from his okay. brain? I'm sitting there telling you, it's like, oh no, you did, you did. I didn't, nigga. Okay, okay so I now did we, not so hear. Should we play okay, it? so for the betterment of a broadcast, we're telling you what he said. He, he was disappointed. He said at some point you would have to bend on a knee at a certain point. You should probably look forward to that because maybe your opinion of how he seems bitter would be a little different. Mm. Why would that not be a... I'm, I'm not mad at his perception of that, nor am I here to try to change his mind. Uh, Tyrese is bitter. Is Tyrese your friend? I would say. Okay. Do you think sometimes how you can... Display... He sat right here and I called him bitter. Okay. It, oh, I, I, don't, I, I wasn't here for that, so I didn't know. All right. Okay. What do you say to the people that would say you're bitter? I looked up bitter. I said, hey, I'm people too, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You are bitter. I think that Tyrese is bitter. Okay. I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying. I think I also think that Tyrese is too great of a talent and a man to die on the hills that he's dying on. I'm also a fan of Tyrese. So when I go by the album and every song is what it was, then it just is what it is. Why why um let me ask you a question. Why bitter not broken? Mm. That's a better B. Well, you're broken. And, and if I want to hear my friend say that, I would rather hear the bro I would want to hear the broken b before the bitter. And I can see how broken could fit better than bitter. How? Tell me. Um, broken would, for me, mm -hmm. broken would mean there's a few areas of your life that seem to be in disarray. Tyrese, when he hit the net and go on these, these public tantrums, is only one area that he's discussing. That's kind of what I mean about me. It's, it's, we've all gone through bad breakups. Mm -hmm. and, and niggas have been there to say, yo, you bitter. No. They I've, were there for I, me to say you bitter. I ain't never called you that. I've seen people where they were broken. They were broken emotionally. They were broken spiritually. You could be broken mentally. That don't necessarily constitute bitter. Bitter is said in a, with a negative context with no grace. Broken is a little bit more sympathetic and, and and graceful and he has other things that that he's experienced within that time that could lead to that level yeah. of brokenness so he's had a Listen, lot of death if, in his family if, shit if, like that if, that he talked about if 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 when i speak if i if i was out of line and when i speak to him i'll apologize for I'm making sure him know. feel that way mm -hmm. like i'm not here to just be mr evil no y'all cool but man. i don't think it's such a horrible thing to to point out that somebody that you are a fan of is coming off bitter, and it seems like they're kind of losing a little bit the, of. His video didn't seem that like angry or mean. No, no, it didn't. Yeah, yeah, it, it, was, no, yeah, it, it seemed angry. like a more disappointed yeah. thing. Like, yo, you yeah. my man, and it seemed more like you just don't understand because you've never yeah. been married. It was really yeah. kind of the theme that I've got the gist from of it. it. I'm open to that too. Yeah, I'm open to that too. He said he's still dealing with it. So you've been married too. Excuse me. Like you've been married, like you've been. I through, have not been married. Not legally Common married, law. but no. W when you've been in these re long ass long. It's not the same. All right. Um. Happy. I let it play. I'm gonna let the clip play. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything because boy, I had so many thoughts as this shit was going on. I had I had so much happening in my head. I'm like, bro. Okay. Number one, it's clear to me 
that besides Ish and Queens Flip, the two niggas that are around Joe that really don't need much from him are not the yes man around him and that Joe keeps a lot of yes men around him. The way Imani placates to him, the way this new guy J1 placates to him, it seems like they don't give him no pushback or at least try to hold him accountable. At the end of the day, when he was addressing Tyrese and everything that Tyrese was going through and how he was acting on The Breakfast Club and how he was divulging everything he was going through, Joe had disrespectful things to say. He called him bitter. Yeah, you can call him bitter to his face, but you got to at least be that open with him when you decide to say it again and again and again. At least tell me why I'm bitter, nigga. Hell, help me not be bitter. If you think you're my friend or you call me my fucking friend and you're not going to sit here and at least try and give me some game on how to not be bitter, on how to move on from these women and stop dealing with what I'm dealing with. And you know me better than anybody else. If you would call me your friend, you should know the shit I'm going through and how I'm feeling. Why the fuck would you come on your public platform and speak like that about me when we can have these conversations together and hash it out? So the response that he got from Tyrese was warranted. It was very much so warranted. And honestly, here's how I know they're placating because Parks and Emandy tried to make it seem like it was nothing like oh he really didn't say nothing that crazy what 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 Tyrese violated that nigga he went off <laughs> we can go back to the clip on my channel he went off okay and at the end of the day Joe did a, himself a favor by not saying it because I feel like we would get more of a disrespectful response than the one of Oh, I didn't hear it, so I'm not going to say anything. Now you don't want to say anything bad about your friend that's, that's saying something, you know, disrespectful towards you. But before that, when you saw him sin with your ops, you didn't mind shooting at him. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's call it a spade a fucking spade. <laughs> he didn't mind shooting at him then. But now, oh, I, that's my friend. Well, if, if that's your fucking friend, you should at least be able to make a phone call and ha look, Tyrese. I did not like the way you were looking on the Breakfast Club. You look like a fucking clown. Say it. <laughs> Don't come on your podcast and say it. And then when he responds, try to act like you're not the bad guy. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Narcissist Joe at work, man. And <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> That's some narcissistic shit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>